everyone, welcome to China's Two Three. It's Emily here with Ben, starting off our last broadcast. Time really does fly, doesn't it? Trimester two is concluded for the final trimester this week, meaning one of your classes will change. Sixth graders have language, seventh graders have PE, and eighth graders have electives. Meaning, we will no longer be appearing on the show. Good luck, eighth graders. Today, we have all of the fan favorite segments, including controversial questions, beachy trivia, and more. Can't wait. See you later. This month. We are happy to announce that the student council has a special contest going on for you guys. Yes. Do you want all of us to dig deep in our collection of math and come up with the funniest math that you have? Please submit a picture of you in your funniest or most creative math. See the email that was sent out by Mrs. Mendelson. We'll be choosing five winners on April first, and this is not an April Fool's joke. <laughs> Each winner. Will receive a saw and straw gift card. We can't wait to see all the creative and funny masks you guys send in. Thank you for sharing. Welcome, y'all, to your weekly DT trivia. I'm so sad. Wait, what? You don't know? I don't know what. This is our last trivia. Oh no! Wait, what? Why so soon? So this has to be our best one. Agreed. Now, enough sadness. We must state what may be our final trivia questions. For our last first trivia question, what year was the very first iPhone released? It has to be around 2009 when Angry Birds came out. So, well, for our last second question, what was Twitter originally called? The next question is. Which country produces the most coffee? And the concluding final question of DT trivia is, what is the highest waterfall on Earth? That's all the trivia questions we have for today. Stay tuned to see the answers. Hi, Crocker. I'm Elizabeth Carroll. I'm the leader of the Arts and Crafts Club here at Crocker. I'm reminding you to come to the club on Flex Fridays at two o'clock. Hope to see you there. Hello, Vikings, and welcome to another weekly controversial questions. Today, as you may already know, is the first day of trimester three, which unfortunately means that this is our last show. The first question is: Is banana bread bread or cake? Banana bread is bread because it's in the name and it doesn't have any frosting like on a cake. So that's just what I think. The next controversial question is: Is rainbow a color? Hmm. I think that rainbow is just all the colors combined, not just one color. Anyways, the last question. We were really creative, so we couldn't come up with anything special, but here it is. Do raisins belong on cookies? I think that raisins do belong on cookies because raisins are good, but ch chocolate's just better. We want to thank everyone who has filled out all our forms. Thank you for everyone who has watched our segment. Goodbye, crew world. Hi Vikings, this is our last show with you, so we wanted to end it with a couple note. This week's topic is mental strength. Over the past few months, we've been focusing solely on the physical aspects of exercise. However, your mental mindset is just as, if not more important than the physical part. Serena Williams, one of the most famous women tennis players out there, once said, I really think that a champion is not defined by their wins, but by how they recover when they fall. Having mental focus and will help you bounce back quickly. For the first exercise, find somewhere to sit, preferably where it's quiet and calm. Select an item, ideally one that you're interested in. Put the item in front of you so that you can stare at it. Focus on all the little details you see. This is a focus exercise. Doing this for even five or ten minutes every day will improve your concentration. For the second exercise, sit in any pile, preferably one that is quiet though. Take a deep breath for four seconds, hold it for seven seconds, and then exhale for eight seconds. Remember that in order to be successful, your mindset has to be positive. Your mind is more powerful than you think. 
and you have to believe in yourself to move forward in life. Well, that's it for our segment. This is Emily and Emmy signing off. Have a great third trimester. Bye. I'm so sad. Hey, I can't believe it's our final Would You Rather. Oh, yeah, we're on. Ah. Hello, everyone. And today we have some Would You Rather. Sadly, this is our final Would You Rather for this trimester. No, it has gone too quick. I know, right? Well, let's get on to the best Would You Rather yet. Okay, first one. Would you rather spread all your homework throughout the trimester or do it in the last two weeks of the trimester? That is kind of hard because then I wouldn't really have any homework, but I would. it would be way too hard to do it the last few weeks, so I'll just spread it out. Yes, I agree. I think it would just be way easier to spread it out the whole trimester or else you would have like a ton of homework to do. <laughs> okay, next one. Would you rather... Go meet your past ancestors or your great, great, great grandchildren in the future. I don't know. I think I would want to go see my ancestors because I would ask them if I'm related to someone very special in the world, you know? Easy. I will go to my past ancestors and either figure out if I'm related to some famous person and then just steal a few very old pennies and think that I'll still sell for millions when I get back. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Oh, Ariana. Okay. Last one. Would you rather know all the answers to everything that hasn't been answered, but not able to tell them to other people? Or know the one thing that hasn't been answered and be able to tell everybody? I would want to know everything, and then I could just watch others struggle as they try to figure it out. <laughs> that's good I want to know everything because like I'd be the smartest person in my class you know and I weren't I wouldn't have to worry about getting a bad grade thanks to all the people who filled out the form over the past few months of the trimester I'm so sad that this trimester is going to an end I could have thought of a better trimester I'm going to miss you all so much remember us <laughs> yes well said Ariana I hope you guys had an amazing second trimester trimester and have an amazing third one too good luck eighth graders you'll be taking it from here Bye. don't forget us it's emily and emmy with some library news this wednesday march 10th from 4 to 5 p.m the burlingame library is having a virtual author visit for grades four through six on the great Dillaway, the author of some of a thousand pies and Momo Tyler will teach you how to make pies and talk about her books. If you would like to attend, make sure to sign up with the link that Mrs. Air emailed you. Have a great week! Hey Crocker, it's Everett here with Tucker with our final sports segment. MLB regular season is starting on April 1st, which is less than a month away, and spring training games have already started. The Giants are going to be taking on the Mariners in Seattle on opening day, April 1st, at their home opener. The Giants' home opener will be on April 9th against the Rockies. Throughout last season, ballparks in California were closed to fans, but now California is on track to be open for fans. The Washington football team is looking to release former 49ers three-time Pro Bowler quarterback Alex Smith, who is likely going to be picked up by the 49ers as a strong backup for Jimmy Garoppolo. The NFL mock draft just happened last week, and the 49ers selected quarter, cornerback Patrick Sertin Jr. from Alabama with a 12th pick. The first pick was the Jacksonville Jaguars, who picked Clemson quarterback and 2019 National Champ Championship winner and uh, most MVP, Trevor Lawrence. The Warriors recently called up Jordan Poole and rookie Nico Mannion. From Santa Cruz, from the Santa Cruz Warriors in the G League. That's it for sports. Emily and Ben here with your birthdays for the week. We have Conrad, Daniel, Max, Adriana, Annabelle, and Sean, as well as Cindy, Brian, Abigail, Anthony, Sienna, and Lena. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Welcome back, Cracker, to your final DT trivia answers. The answer to the first question, what year is the very first iPhone released? The answer is 
2007. For the second question, what was Twitter first called? The answer is Twitter, which is spelled T-W-T-R-R -R, with no I. What kind of question is that? Anyway, the answer to which countries produce the most copies, the answer is Brazil. Last, the answer to what is the highest waterfall on earth, the answer is Angel Falls. Well, that's all we have for you today, Crocker. I hope you enjoyed the trivia segment. We'll see you around campus, maybe. Bye. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this fabulous show. I'm going to miss this. Have a great day, a great week, a great month, and a great third trimester. Sixth grade HTV newscast, signing off. That is all for this broadcast. One last goodbye from the HTV team. Bye. Bye.